Hi my loves and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi my name is Anita and for returning so thank you so much. On this channel we talk about luxury handbags. We occasionally do some tech unboxings. We do unboxings here and there on the channel as well. And we also do lifestyle videos. So if that is something that you like, stay tuned, subscribe, give a thumbs up and we'll get right into it. So I'm sorry about not posting that I know I said that I was going to be posting on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The thing is this weekend we literally, we were out. Like honestly, like we had allergies. And also I got sick. I was like, I have no idea like where like everything came from. Like the environment, everything is like all over the place. And I'm like a huge migraine. So I was like, that is my fault that I didn't pre-film a video. So I'm gonna give that one to me. But I just wanted to like, you know, give you like a heads up. I was like, today I'm feeling a little bit better. I filmed a TikTok. So if you guys aren't following me on TikTok, you definitely should. I did a little get right with me. And also, as you guys know, I love anime and manga. What I did was, I did kind of like a little segment where I talked about my first anime and manga that I, you know, I first like read and I watched. So honestly for me, it is like a very nice video. It's around like six minutes. So it is a longer one and I am going to be posting it also here on YouTube. But it's kind of a little different, you know, like from the actual content that I do on this channel. So that's why I was kind of like a little contemplating whether I should actually post it or not. So on today's topic. I decided, like out of random, like literally, right now it's like what, like 4 in the afternoon. <laughs> I decided that I'm going to be comparing all of my totes that I have in my collection. I was going to do something else, but I was like, no, I'm not really like feeling it. And if I'm not feeling the video, I'm just not going to make it. Like I want to be like straight up. So I was like, let me compare all of them. And I want to show you kind of like the difference between all of them. Because they're kind of like, they're different. Um similar style in a sense as you guys can you know you guys can see obviously from like the videos that I've made but I just wanna like do like an in-depth video with you guys to show you you know like how like each one differs and like kinda like a rough estimate with my computer because I know a lot of people they struggle finding like good totes that fit their laptops. So I know for me that is something that is very like crucial whenever I'm finding like an actual tote. So I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna get into it. So here's the first one. This is my large book tote that I have from Dior. As you can see, she's beautiful. She is pink and she is also canvas. And she is very much worn. I've worn her to death. <laughs> so I used to use her as my diaper bag. So she has a little bit of stains on the front. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but like I say, I hold her so dear because this was one of my Mother's Day gifts that I got, I believe in 2021 so i've had her like kind of like around like two years now and i've worn her to death so i want to kind of like give an example she is bigger the straps they're not really gonna like fit too much i mean they'll fit but i don't recommend like filling it up to the brim because what happens it's not gonna close that is one issue that i have with it so i used to travel with her not too much anymore for that simple reason and also she cut my hand oh, one time, well, not my hand, my arm. So when I had put her like this and she was full, I was like, for some reason, it got stuck in between my skin and it just went, I was like, oh my God. I was like, ah, that hurts. So I was like, no, I'm not taking her on like my traveling trips anytime soon because of that. And especially in the summer, I don't recommend it. Putting that aside, like all jokes, I really love her. She is very special to me. Like I've honestly contemplated before like selling her because she's not in the best shape, but I was like, she has like so much memories. Like honestly, that I really love her. So I want to bring out my MacBook. This here is the 14 inch MacBook Pro, as you guys can see. And just like, kind of like for like a size reference and we're going to put her in. She fits just good. So there's going to be no issues. And also you can fit in the 16 inch MacBook Pro if you also have that one. So. That is the first one that we have. As you guys know, this is my first ever pre-loved piece by Chanel Doville, and I believe the medium size, I am not too sure. So, as you can see, she is just amazing. I love her. Like, I have a dedicated video, as you guys know. So I'm gonna link it above um, so you guys can be able to see it. Cause I don't wanna go in too much depth in this one because this one already has like her own little video. So we're gonna put in MacBook in there. As you can see, she just fits perfectly. And there is a little bit of wiggle room. So I think like if you put her like kind of like in the middle, 
and I'm like trying to show you like if you put it like in the middle there's still some room so I believe the 16 inch will fit comfortably if not snug in there but there shouldn't be like no issues at all even if you have like a 15 inch as of now this one has been my favorite tote to take out like it matches with everything like the aesthetic that I've been like wanting to like have for now and I know I haven't shown like any pictures honestly like uh, me like wearing handbags it's just I'm bad at taking pictures of myself and my husband's not the best at taking pictures either so I was like I've been trying to like, experiment here and there like with a tripod but I don't know I just don't feel like it's the same if you guys have like any like ideas of what I can do like to get like more set pictures I want to say because I do post on Instagram I I want you like to comment down below please because I've like I've been struggling honestly like trying to take pictures like trying to like take aesthetic pictures just by myself I was like I know that's in one one part like that I struggle a lot so that's the other one so I was like I really really love this one and as you can see she will sag a little bit so what I do is I pretty much I put like an insert um, in there and it'll hold like the shape so I definitely I recommend putting inserts in your handbags especially like when they're not as structured third handbag that we have is my Riff Gauge however you want to say it from Saint Laurent she is absolutely stunning as you can see I'm kind of getting like little vibes of how I love like tans, neutrals, blacks, everything so as you guys know I really love um, those colors and pinks here and there so as you guys know she is huge. Without no issue, my MacBook fits in there. So like, look at that space. 16 inch, no problem. So she is very comfortable. And this one actually did get on purpose for the beach. So this one has been like my beach bag ever since I got her in July from my birthday. And I absolutely love her. But I've only used her. <laughs> I've only used her for the beach, honestly, so I need to use her more. But I haven't honestly like been like gravitating towards like bigger totes for the simple reason that I'm like I'm not really like going anywhere where I like really need like a big tote as of right now. I've just been like using the mini handbags. I know she comes in handy, and then whenever I travel, I can just take her with me. And I usually put her like usually just put her like on the luggage that goes under the plane because for me it's just easier to put in there. I just lay her flat. And she doesn't crease or anything so she is great to travel with for sure another one that i have is my dr book tote in the medium size so i love her because she is all leather black super aesthetic and say if you don't want to show the logo flip around no one will know that it is a christian your handbag way to stay kind of like low-key if you ever want you just have to like switch it around it is not the most comfortable i'm not gonna lie like i said it below the book totes they're not really comfortable they're more to be worn as a tote so just keep that in mind for sure also here's a test 14 inch fits perfectly i don't recommend anything bigger except if you want to be carrying it and i do recommend it because since the handbag weighs already a little bit because it is leather i mean you could you can stop this and then keep you know like your laptop in your hand but i really don't recommend it and just with that, as you can see, she also sags and she's weighing now with my laptop. So that's why I don't really carry her too much with my laptop. It has to be like one day that I'm just going to wear her out. Um, if not, I've used her previously, like I've said here below, as a diaper bag because I love using my totes as diaper bags. Now we're going to go into my on the go GM in the Escal collection pastel. As you can see, she is absolutely stunning. <sighs> Oh my god, this handbag, I was after her for over a year during quarantine and when I was able to get her, I was like, I was starstruck because this is a style that honestly, it is just stunning. As you guys know, I've made a video in the past about her previously um, and I pretty much, I showed like everything. I was like, I was so excited to get this bag and it brings back a lot of memories. I wear her, <clears throat> I wear her a little bit because I don't say I don't want her to get stained. Like she is in excellent to brand new conditions. I wear her, but I don't wear her with dark clothes. I don't really like to because I don't want to stain her. And the vision that I always had was to use her as my diaper bag. But since she's so special, 
I don't even want to like wear just for that. I mean, like I'll put in like my laptop, but that's about it. I don't want to ruin it because <laughs> this one is just so stunning, honestly. So we're gonna put in my laptop. So we're gonna put in my laptop, and this is how she looks. So as you guys know, the on the go GM will hold the 16 inch MacBook Pro, 15 inch as well. Um, and then one thing, if you ever will, like want to make her like look more boxy, put in an insert and it will like put it more out. You know what I mean? Like this side, the 16 inch, it will like push it out for sure. So I would say either like put it like against like the wall of it or like put it like this, like on the side. As you guys know, I also have this same handbag in another colorway, so I'm gonna show you real quick. And they have the same dimensions. They're just like different collections, but pretty much they look similar. This here is my other on the go GM in the Spring in the City, like colorway, as you can see. They're almost like similar. It's just kind of like the gradient's a little different, like the colors that they use, but here it is. And I'm not gonna go into depth in it because I already have a video that talks about it and also, it's the same one as the other on the go, GM. So here's the last tote that I have. It is from the Fendace collection. As you can see, this bag is stunning. Like, she speaks for herself. She's a showstopper. Like, literally every time that I wear her out, everyone is like, where'd you get that? I'm like, it was a, you know, I explained that it was a special collection that Fendi and Versace, they did together. I was like, I needed a piece from there. So as you guys know, I made a video on the things that I actually got from the collection that we got some swimwear for my husband and I with um, some sandals for the beach as well and this beat up your handbags. She is absolutely stunning. Like I say, I love her and we're gonna also compare how the laptop fits. So here's my laptop and as you can see, she fits perfectly. Alrighty guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this little video that I made. That you guys subscribe, give a thumbs up, comment down below and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day, night, or evening, wherever you guys are, and hope to see you in the next one.